To history, Senate confirmation hearings for Judge Katanji Brown Jackson, the first black woman to be nominated to the U.S. Supreme Court. Those hearings now underway, and Judge Jackson will be facing a first day of questioning after delivering a very personal opening statement yesterday. Our congressional correspondent, Rachel Scott, is in that hearing room. Rachel, good morning to you. TJ, good morning. Well, Democrats and Republicans both acknowledging the history made in this room. And while Judge Jackson is certainly expected to face some very tough questions ahead, on the first day of her confirmation hearings, she opened with a promise to defend the Constitution. The history truth, made on truth, Capitol Hill. Truth to help you God. I do. Judge Katanji Brown Jackson sworn in as the first black woman nominated to serve on the Supreme Court. The weight of the moment sinking in. Thank you for this historic chance to join the highest court, to work with brilliant colleagues, to inspire future generations, and to ensure liberty and justice for all. Jackson introducing herself to the country as the daughter of school teachers. She credits her father, who later became an attorney, for shaping her passion for law. My father, in particular, bears responsibility for my interest in the law. My very earliest memories are of watching my father study. He had his stack of law books on the kitchen table while I sat across from him with my stack of coloring books. Seated there behind Judge Jackson, her two daughters and her husband, Patrick Jackson, a cancer surgeon overwhelmed with emotion. I have no doubt that without him by my side from the very beginning of this incredible professional journey, none of this would have been possible. If confirmed, she would be the second working mother serving on the court. Girls, I know it has not been easy as I've tried to navigate the challenges of juggling my career and motherhood. And I fully admit that I did not always get the balance right. But I hope that you've seen that with hard work, determination, and love, it can be done. This is her fourth confirmation hearing. She's been a judge for nearly a decade, promising to serve without fear or favor. I have dedicated my career to ensuring that the words engraved on the front of the Supreme Court building, equal justice under law, are a reality and not just an ideal. And as she prepares for tough questions in the coming days, a group of black law students from Louisiana came to the nation's capital to show their support and witness history. She is showing us what equal justice looks like. I feel like she, eventually she's going to have my back, so I need to have hers. All right, so today, senators get about 30 minutes to question Judge Jackson. She could be in this hot seat behind me for over 11 hours. Republicans already previewing their attacks, calling her soft on crime. But Democrats do not need any Republican support to confirm Judge Jackson to the bench. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.